You got it right. I'm back doing another Starbase video. It's been too long, way too long. This is just gonna be a little, uh, I don't know, showcase, I guess, for, for all the ships I've made, the good and the bad and the ugly. Uh, yeah, let's check out the first ship I ever made in Starbase. This is the Long Boy. Uh, this was uh, made like a few, like I'd, I'd say a week or two after I got Alpha. Uh, I'd been using dev made ships. Uh, it does not work, it does not fly. Uh, I don't know why, I mean, I could probably figure it out now, but back when I made it, I had no idea, so I just kind of scrapped it. And it's been, how long, how old is this thing? 200 and, uh, well, since I started, 268 days. That's, uh, one day less than the funny number. Shoot. Oh, well, anyways, yeah, long boy. I was trying to make a ship and, uh, oh, attachment plates. Yikes. It, it, it didn't go too well. Yeah, let's go ahead and cut to the next ship. The, uh, the, the first one I actually got working. Uh, this one's a chonker. And here we have the palace. The first ship I actually ever got working. I built it for the big ship battle that was happening early on in Alpha, uh, which was kind of like the precursor to, uh, other free-for-all events and stuff. So again, very old ship. It has attachment plates, I know. And, you know, being my first ship, it doesn't really... It doesn't really look too good. Uh, we have very little thrust for a ship this big. And if we just go into this cockpit right here, it's, uh, again, very minimal. Very, very minimal. And we have the, the legendary don't shoot here. Uh, <laughs> back here is where the generators are. Uh, super simple setup, you know. Uh, I didn't really know too much of what I was doing. Again, very noob, very uh, basic ship. But hey, maybe one day I'll come back to this build when uh, capital ships are more... Uh, viable yeah okay okay well it's still flying so there's that i guess uh, <laughs> uh it's actually from a game called infinite space i played on my ds super old super old but super fun uh and i hope to remake some more ships from that game this was the first of uh hopefully many so this uh this little mouthpiece it's very unfinished this was a rush build or this little dip here wasn't supposed to exist there's supposed to be a complete hammerhead kind of deal and what that door opens up to, uh, well, you actually have to press a button over on the uh, controls. And, uh, well, if I had someone helping me film this, I would have been able to show you it opening. But, uh, ha, you know how it is. Anyways, this opens up to the uh, 18 laser cannons that are in here. Uh, they took a little bit of uh, heresy to, uh, to get working. I do kind of want to try and, like, take this... Uh, this gun setup and just throw it onto a more maneuverable ship than uh <laughs> this thing but uh yeah on the sides here we have like little thruster maneuver pods that that don't really like legally work because the thrusters would damage the ship there yeah they don't really serve any other function i was thinking about putting guns inside of them but we'll see about that but yeah that's the uh that's the palace i would love to uh revisit this uh the ship again uh make it into something workable usable I'd probably have to do a little bit more modifying to it. I can't make it uh, exactly like the one in the game, but I could get super close and uh, that's what matters. All right, so here's the next ship. I don't really need to take it out of the SSC to get a good look at it. Uh, it's it's very vibrant. <laughs> uh, it uh, I, I just wanted to, you know, pimp up my hauler, uh, which was the main, main miner I used at the time. Uh, I would uh, later upgrade uh, to a better miner. In fact, that's the next ship that's coming up. But yeah, it's, it's just a it's just a hauler ship with uh <laughs> with uh <laughs> lamps on it, an insanely uh, uh, obsessive and unnecessary amount of lamps. It's and oh, and I got spare fuel. Hey, I was smart. I added fuel to it. Well, there we go. Hey, I wasn't all too stupid back then. But yeah, it's uh it's very bright. It's very bright. Alright, so this nauseatingly colorful uh, design is the Amazon Prime, named because it was supposed to uh, to move cargo fast, and uh, you know, like like Amazon does. I, I, I don't know, man. I, I'm not good with names. So it's got 16 thrusters in the back, uh, with plenty of fuel as well, uh, which is, you know, a, a pretty, pretty big target to just explode. Here's a little hole in the ship that I threw in there. I had plenty of spare fuel as well. Uh, I, I never leave home without it. And uh, lots of rangefinders, lots of rangefinders. Back when I made this, I thought this was uh, way too much, but uh, looking back on it, it, it's, I needed more. I need more. <laughs> or really just more spaced out, I think. Uh, it, it, it is a little bit, uh, it's a little bit much. But yeah, this thing comes with the uh, Izan uh, quad, 
and the velocity plugin, which uh, doesn't work because I was I was really bad at YOLO back then, like like really bad. Oh, and of course, how could I forget the best feature of the ship is subscribe, you know? And that was for Twitch, but I guess it applies here too. I don't actually think it goes speed cap. In fact, no, no, it doesn't. Because the I still have the ship to this day uh, and it does not go max speed. So that's unfortunate. But it is what it is. Let's move on to the next ship. Oh. Huh. I, uh... When did I do this? Okay, well, whatever. I, I guess we might as well just use it in the video. <laughs> okay, well, this is the billboard ship that I made. Uh, this version of it uh, is fairly recent, but the, uh... I'll, I'll just go ahead and load up the actual save of it. Hang on a second. Uh... <laughs> Mamma Mia. Well, hey, there you go. Hey, Collective is a cool faction. Uh, Mamma Mia. Uh, I, that wasn't supposed to be in the video. Why? Hang on. Why is this one horizontal? Well, you get the idea. This right here, my endos. This is the very first billboard ship ever made in Starbase. Uh, I was on the trend before anyone else. Let that be known. In fact, I'm going to pull up the little thing right now. Bada bing, bada boom. 2.35 days. The day is uh, March 15th. There we go. <laughs> so I I was on this before anyone else. Let that be known. I am going to stop because I'm getting pretentious. But yeah, I made a billboard ship. I didn't actually do any uh, like promotion for um, Collective or anyone else really. In fact, I'm pretty sure I told someone that I didn't want it to be used for that. But I mean, here we are now. Uh, flash to the future. Origin is stuffed full with them. So yeah, that's uh that didn't go uh, the way I wanted it to. But hey, whatever, whatever. We've got this, and I've I've put it to good use. You know, I mean, why would you want to promote your faction when you could promote something so much greater? Oh, I mean, our Lord and Savior Bob. But yeah, that's the canvas ship. We also have. Hang on a second before we just. I I, I just wanna. I just wanna. I I just. I feel the need. I feel the need to once again plug my Twitch. Hey, I stream on Twitch. It's not always Starbase, but I'm going to be doing some Starbase content. Mostly on Saturdays, because, you know, Starbase Saturdays, it just sounds good. Uh, I'll see you there. So, you know, come check it out. Maybe use your Prime. It's free for you, uh, and it takes money from Jeff Bezos. So, you know, why not? And here we have, like, the first ever Mega Miner I've ever made. Uh, it actually inspired a line of other ships, and it hasn't stopped drifting yet. That's very cool. Anyways, uh, <laughs> let's let me go ahead and turn off these epilepsy lights. So this big chunker right here, this guy is called the Colonio, uh, named after a ship from uh, Infinite Space once again. Uh, its original name was the Double Whammy because you had two pods, and uh, well, see, Collective actually picked up the ship. Uh, they they wanted me to like make them a version for them, uh, and so I, I I just went ahead and changed the name to something a little bit more uh, serious and fitting than Double Whammy. But hey, you know what? It lives on. It lives on. So yeah, this is the uh, the, the Colonial Mark One. It's uh it's got like I think at least 400 crates. I don't really know. I don't really care to count the things. I'm just sort of moving through this. Uh, it famously is held together by seven beams, and to this day. It is still structurally intact with attachment plates. So, I mean, I'm just saying I might be a little bit cracked at Starbase. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, let's get over to uh, the more impressive version of the ship, the Colonial Mark II. I can't believe it. It still flies to this day. This is the one I was, uh, I was worried about. Mamma Mia. It, oh, oh, I've lost control. Well, this is the Colonial Mark II. Its most defining feature is the little boom thing here. Before you like, you know, you go to the comments and, you know, YouTube comment fashion, I want you to keep in mind that this was built during the days of when, uh, what are they, what are they, the uh, resource bridges were, were only had a range of 20 meters instead of 100. So you could about go this far and it'd break off, which, uh, yeah, that, that, that means you have to get like your, your big mining ship super close to the asteroid. Oh, and also we didn't have mining lasers, so that kind of sucked as well. But hey, whatever. So yeah, it's just it's essentially just the uh, the the Colonial Mark One with uh, a lot of improvements to it. The internals are actually kind of internal to the ship instead of being out uh, out here, because you know it'd be easy just to run into an asteroid and bada bing, bada boom. 
Uh, there goes the ship. Uh, yeah, essentially this is just a collectivized uh, Colonio uh, with the navigation lights that Archduke so wanted so badly. My favorite thing about the ship is how the cockpit works. You've got a nice uh, nice wide view, and then uh, you hit the... Uh, what's, where's the button? Oh, there it is. HUD. Hit that button, bada beat. Wait, what the heck? Wait, what? Hang on a second. What? What? I swear on my life, that was not there. No, this chair was farther back. These reached out a lot more. Okay then, no. These are supposed to like come up right there. Like they're supposed to be right on your sides as you look over here, but I... Starbase is kind of weird. Anyways, you'd have the HUD around you like this. And it was toggleable. It glitched out sometimes while you were turning, so yeah, it's not very reliable. But hey, there you go. But yeah, the Colonial Mark II. It was the uh, the very first ship that I made for uh, for my faction. So this right here is the Colonial Mark III. Uh, and there's a reason why we can't take it out of the SSC. It's because of these. These monstrosities. Oh, mamma mia. What was I thinking? I, I, I don't know why I didn't use turrets. I knew they existed. I, I just, I don't know. I guess I just forgot or something. Uh, whatever. Yes, yes, I know. These are railguns. If, uh, if you didn't know already, there was a time in Alpha where uh, railguns were, you know, the go-to mining thing. In fact, before we had mining lasers, row guns were the mining lasers. So yeah, uh, but yeah, they, they, they'd fracture up the asteroid, and uh, even when mining lasers came around, they were still pretty, uh, pretty overpowered. Better than mining lasers were when they were first released. Uh, but then they improved mining lasers, and you know, row guns just didn't make any more sense to, uh, to use for mining. And uh, yeah, yeah, super small collector logo. I know. <laughs> let's uh, let's go ahead and check out the row guns because it's been a while since I used it. Uh, rail fire? Aim rail. Oh, shoot. Oh, and there they go. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. Range finder's on, I guess. HUD right. Oh, I still had that. I could turn it on and off. Okay, very cool. Very cool. I still include that. But yeah, you'd have the, uh, oh. Oh, that's why I couldn't take it out of the SSC. I, I forgot. I, it's been literally two minutes. Mamma mia. It's, uh, it, it definitely does not survive to uh, this day. But yeah, uh, Colonial Mark III, plenty of fuel, plenty of uh, rods, plenty of propellant. It did not see widespread collective use because it never made it out of the, uh, what I'd say, the, the testing fa phases, I guess. Uh, and also everyone was more accustomed to using the Colonial Mark IIs uh, or just building uh, more optimized ships, honestly, because this one wasn't really too good. Uh, but I, I did enjoy using the, the, uh, the Mark III. I liked it a lot. Yeah, there was only one ever in existence, and that is now deceased, unfortunately. But you know what? If this ship was never destroyed in the, uh, the Wayfinder, uh, well, calling it an attack is just giving them a little bit too much credit. Uh, you know, I was offline. I, I could have totally ripped you apart with, uh, with the mining lasers I had at the time. Mamma mia. I wish. But yeah, politics aside, uh, had it not been for this ship's destruction, I would have never created, I'd say, the best ship I have to date. The Maxitar is the evolution of the Colonial. It's designed for long-distance operations and uh, just 
you know, carrying ore very far, very fast. And after the usual uh, mining run, you know, run of the mill ores and stuff, Maxstar moves around 120 meters per second, which is a good speed. Uh, definitely very good for a full load of 321 ore crates. Now, the latest thruster updates, they almost killed the design, but, you know, I managed to fix it, obviously. But I was working on a Mark II, which uh, will be revealed soon, but for now, is redacted.